Hey there, this is Morgan Floyd Lee, the champion of freedom. Thank you for watching this video. This is the first video in a powerful series that can really transform your business, your team, how you're marketing, how you're connecting with other human beings, and all of the different communication styles that perhaps you have not been exposed to yet. And when you see this, all different types of light bulbs are going to come on. I remember the first time this was shared with me, it was this epiphany that came over me. I felt this sensation over my body. It was almost like a tingling up my spine of an opportunity in front of me to really connect with the right types of people in my business and to really create positive change in the world, help humanity create freedom in their lives. And I got pumped up about it because I'm like, where was this information two years ago? Right? No one shared it with me, right? And I never thought about how to connect these dots. So let's get right into it, guys. Listen, if you are distracted right now, please pause the video, close the door, get the kids out the room, dial into this. It's a series of videos. This is the first in the series. We're going to talk about real quickly something that can change your life. All right? And so what are we going to talk about? Archetypes. Archetypes is a phrase that was coined by Carl Jung, all right? And here's what Carl Jung had to say. I'm actually going to read you the, the Wikipedia definition of archetypes, and then we're going to show you how that affects and relates to your business, yourself as a person, as a human being, and the individuals in which you'll be communicating with, all right? So here is the definition of an archetype. You've probably heard the expression before, right? But let's get into the specific definition, all right? An archetype is a universally understood symbol, term, statement, pattern of behavior, a prototype upon which others are copied, patterned, or emulated. Archetypes are usually used in myths and storytelling across different cultures. Now I'm going to pause on that. There are individuals out there, like uh, I believe his name is uh, James Campbell and Carl Jung and these individuals that prove throughout history, throughout all of our, myths, our, our, our beliefs, all of our myths, all of our folklore, all of our legends, they have these reoccurring stories throughout history, right? And they, they center around these archetypes, right? And the point of this is that you can help understand yourself better, understand your natural tendencies, things that you naturally gravitate towards and why, and how you can use those to your advantages, advantage, <laughs> how you can see areas of improvement to work on personal development, and more importantly than that, and, and as important is understanding where other human beings are coming from. I was in a training once with a seven figure a year income earner and he said this, your product is not your product. It is not your services. It's not your compensation plan. It's not your team. It's not any of these things. What your product is is people. And when you have a greater understanding of people, how to connect with them, how to communicate with them, how to understand how they see the world, the things that resonate with them, how they feel about different things in their lives, you can create a greater emotional connection, a greater, stronger bond with them, and build a solid team, a solid business, and have customers and teammates and business partners for life. All right? And that's what we're going to be covering today. So, archetypes, we just define your business is people. All right? And then finally, uh, it says in psychology, which is a major reference for this because it's from Carl Jung, an archetype is a model of a person, personality, or behavior. All right? And I'll skip real quickly. And it says in the analysis of personality, the term archetype is often broadly used, broadly used, to, do, to refer to a stereotype, a personality type observed multiple times, especially an oversimplification of a type, an epitome 
a personality type exemplified, especially the greatest such example, and then a literary term to express details. All right? So archetypes refer to a generic version of a personality. In this sense, a mother figure may be considered an archetype and may be identified in various characters with otherwise distinct non-generic personalities. Now, that's just some of the definitions there. You can go to the Wikipedia article yourself and go much into it. You can start studying Jungian archetypes. There's actually a cool reference. There's, a, there's lots of different ways in which to identify your archetype. Now, we're going to go through a series of the 12 major ones, but you can actually take um, arche archetype tests, personality tests. In fact, there's one on Amazon that's $5, right? And it's powerful to help you identify your major type of archetype and then being able to communicate with others and use it in business. So before we wrap up this video, here's the goals. Here's what we're going to do. What we're going to show you is the, the 12 major types, right? We're actually going to give you the subtypes as well. These types and these subtypes is going to allow you to expand your marketing vernacular and language and look at the definitions, get a thesaurus online, look at the synonyms, and you'll be able to use language that resonates with those archetypes. You can use language to better define and set very clear a clarity on who you are in the marketplace and why someone would want to do business with you. If you can clearly identify yourself using the right kind of language based off of one of the 12 types of archetypes, people will have a clear understanding of who you are and why they should do business with you. A lot of times you're in business and you're concerned more with, say, pay-per-click then maybe making a clear distinction of who you are in the marketplace. My goal is to help you with that, right? And so over these uh, next uh, lessons here, you're going to go over the different types of archetypes, the different subtypes, how to connect the language with it, and how it can benefit your business. My name is Morgan Floyd Lee, the champion of freedom. I encourage you, get to the next video, get a pen and piece of paper out, close the door, just like I have closed the door right there, and rock and roll with this training. I'm sure you're going to find it exciting. I'm sure you're going to find it fascinating as I have. And this is just the tip of the iceberg in getting into your journey of understanding people. All right? That's my goal is to help you understand people. My name is Morgan Ford Lee, the champion of freedom. I will see you on the next video. Take care.